Hey, it's Gardener Chacol here, and I'm here with Gardener Jerry. And Jerry, you just went outside. What did you go outside to get? Uh, tarragon. Some tarragon, because we're making some scrambled eggs. Mm -hmm. Now, what's probably ironic about this video is that do either one of us eat scrambled eggs? No. So we're actually making these scrambled eggs for uh, my husband, his dad, and for his brother, James. So uh, come on over. Right now, we are we already got the onions in here. So what do we need to add next? Mm, tarragon? Not the tarragon yet. Eggs? Eggs. So we're going to put in uh, four eggs. And I always like to put the egg shells back into the egg carton because this is a good place to do it. And let's hope we don't get shelled this time. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We need two more. Good, put it back in that carton. So Jerry had mentioned, did we put the tarragon in yet? And actually no, because this is fresh tarragon that we just, here use this. This is fresh tarragon that we just picked. Jerry, go into the refrigerator and get some shredded cheese, because I forgot to pull that out. So right now I'm just scrambling the eggs. The reason that you don't want to add in your fresh tarragon right now is because it's fresh and the flavor will cook right out of it. You actually want to throw the fresh tarragon in at the very end. So Jerry's getting some shredded cheese out of the fridge. And right now we have Kobe Jack shredded cheese. We like to mix it up. We actually use a lot of different cheese, Parmesan, uh, Romano, uh, Gouda. Uh, we like it when we get smoked cheese, uh, sharp cheddar cheese, um, Havarti. Um, gosh, there's so many different types of cheeses, but we got Kobe Jack today. So adding that in, and Jerry, I'll let you do some of the salt. Now, what I love about this, if you're cooking with kids, I love these uh, different type of salt um, grinders because you can tell the kid how many times to grind the salt and you don't have to worry about the food getting over salted. So Jerry, go ahead and put a little salt in here. That's good. And right now I still don't trust my children with the pepper, so I did the pepper myself still. And at the beginning, the onion that we had in here uh, was onion that was from our garden, that uh, Gardener James picked. So we're just letting these scrambled eggs come. Scrambled eggs are something um, I let my boys do, so I'll let Jerry scramble a little bit. Remember, hold on to the skillet. And my sons are eight. They're, I feel like kids are never too young to uh, cook and uh, food. I mean, the earlier you get kids cooking, the better they'll be and cooking is an essential skill you don't want to become an adult and all you're doing is just going out to eat so the eggs are coming together quite nicely and they have been cooking eggs I want to say hey I got you guys out here in kindergarten I know what what did you guys do in school in kindergarten that made you guys want to cook uh, 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 green hands and green eggs, eggs and ham Green eggs and ham. And what did tell tell me what your teacher did? As what you guys get to do at school? You remember? Uh, we got to eat it. Yeah. So um, and uh, James even got uh, James. You can go ahead and say what you what do you do? Well, when my friends Kylie um she cracked an egg, but it splattered on the carpet. So yes. Yeah, so James is actually behind the video camera today, and uh, he actually got to learn how to crack eggs in kindergarten when they were doing green eggs and ham. So this is pretty much done. And so now go ahead, Jerry, add in the tarragon. A little more. Actually, you can just do the rest of that in there. And so today from our garden, we used two fresh um, ingredients. Onion that we have pulled and this tarragon that we cut fresh this morning. And there you go. Um, there are our eggs. And remember, anybody can be a gardener. You just have to get ready, get set, and grow.